There comes a sad time in every laptop's life where its memory fades and its hard drive slows, and there's only one place for it to go. We lived a long, fruitful life, minus those Windows Vista years. We had so many great memories together. Wait, you're not dead? How are you running so well? Okay, that's not quite how things happened. But this week, I pulled out some of my old laptops and got them working so well again that I'd actually use them. I turned them into Chrome OS laptops using Neverware's free cloud-ready software. Installing the operating system can be a bit of a project, but once you're through, you'll have saved some money and learned something. You'll need four things to get started. A laptop with an internet connection, a USB flash drive with a minimum of eight gigabytes of storage, some spare time, and a snack. Everything else you need, including detailed instructions, is at neverware.com slash free download. The whole process took me about an hour. Download the OS, install it on a USB drive, and eat a snack while you wait. Then plug the USB drive into the old laptop and reboot to the cloud-ready drive. You can run Chrome on your laptop just like that, but if you decide to install the operating system on your laptop's own internal drive, be sure to back up your files first. Some laptops even let you dual boot. Cloud Ready works best on computers 10 years or younger. I tested it on five different laptops and was amazed at how well most of them worked again. The operating system is simple to use and the hardware, like the trackpad and keyboard shortcuts, just work. This Acer took one minute and 20 seconds to boot up with Windows 7. Now it takes 30 seconds. When it came to web browser performance, this Acer was 2.5 times faster. This 10-year-old MacBook and this ThinkPad were 20% faster. Sadly, this Intel Atom-based Toshiba netbook wasn't any faster. There are some downsides though. Getting Netflix to work requires some extra steps. There's no technical support and Chrome updates are behind. Installing other Linux operating systems like Ubuntu can have similar results, though may not be as easy to use. But what about Windows? Windows 10's reduced system requirements allow it to work on older systems, but not necessarily that well. While my old ThinkPad works great with Windows 10, I saw a frustrating amount of this on the Acer. I think you know what you need to do next. Go grab that old dusty laptop and bring it back to life with Cloud Ready. If it doesn't work, what are you really losing anyway? So I guess I should apologize. 